How's it going guys? It's Poetry Stud and welcome to Total War Rome 2 Emperor Edition. I am going to be playing a new campaign single player. I've never done this for my channel. I've done Total War Rome 2 with um, my friend Wings and by the way if you're looking forward to that series um, I'm sorry we haven't posted any videos the past two weeks. Um, Winx has been very, very busy and stuff. We haven't had a chance to record. We will have that coming back, so don't worry about that. But for now, I figured I wanted to start a another single-player campaign in Total War Rome 2. And um, we're going to be playing. I, it took me a while to figure out what we were going to be playing as. But I have decided that I want to play as... The Macedonians. And the reason for this is that I really like the Macedonian pikemen and stuff. I really like the Greek cultured kingdoms. They're all uh they're all pretty good. Um but they uh but Macedon intrigues me because it's in an area that's all Hellenistic culture, so you don't have as much cultural issues if you expand in this area. And also it's just their units are really good. They start off with a decent amount of land. Um, I figured it'd be something good to start with. Um, we will start with 20% charge bonus for all cavalry units, so we get good cavalry. We get more melee attack against barbarian tribes as well. So yeah, we're going to do this. We also get uh, minus 50% resistance to foreign occupation, so culturally we're better. Um, Hellenistic, Hel or Hellenic, Hellenistic, Hellenic, I think it's the same thing. Hellenic factions don't like us as much, though, so that's not good, but I think we're going to do it. I don't have a name for this series yet. I'm just going to call it Macedonian Conquest for now, but um, uh, hopefully by the time I post the video, I'll have a cool name for it, like the, the uh, I got this, you know, something with alliteration, Macedonian um, Massacres, I don't know, something like that. I'll figure out something, and then you'll see it on the video, um, and... I'm also going to try to title the names of the episodes with, uh, you know, stuff that's relevant. Like, not just number them like I normally do. I'm normally very uncreative with my naming of Rebirth episodes, but this time I will try to do it differently. So, um, yeah, so we start off with, I think, two cities? Or is it three? Uh, we'll have to see once we get in. We start off with a decent amount of land, um, more than like uh, the Aseni that I have been playing as in my other campaigns, so that's good. Um, and yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. My first goal is going to be to unite Greece, uh, take over Athens and Sparta. And that should take a while, actually, but we'll see. I'm going to try to, ooh, I'm gonna try to make this episode like maybe 30 minutes long. Um, yeah, anyways. It's just it's just loading in right now. Sorry about that. I might just cut it out. But yeah, uh, it looks like we're almost done though. Actually, um, so yeah, <laughs> um, I like the little quotes they have on here. I haven't played Room Two very much. Um, I've been playing the game as Massilia. And you guys can probably see my cursor. I already took over all of Celtica, Aquitania, Provincia, and Belgica. And I'm also taking this city now. So I have a pretty expan ex expansive, um, extensive empire in that campaign off camera. And I've been doing pretty well. And the Massilians are Greek cultured as well, which is really interesting because I converted all this area to Greek culture. There we go. Okay. Or convince your Spartan allies to betray their treaty. No matter, faced with hostility from Epirus, Sparta should remain true and may distract Epirus long enough for you to consolidate your rule at home. Conflict with the remaining successor kingdoms is inevitable, and you must be ready. Do not be afraid to seek military support from others if necessary. Rest assured, Macedon is the true heir to Alexander's legacy. It will rise once more. Okay, so that was a little bit of Fleer text uh, coming in and telling me my situation. Audacibus anu coeptus. From humble beginnings come great things. Take your first step and establish a foothold. So, two provinces. Nice. 
So that's our first goal, is to control two provinces by direct rule, or uh, what did it say, or to having them as a client state and stuff. So right now, first off, let's go to diplomacy. So we have Athens as a client state of ours. Um, okay, so let, let's look at this. We start with two cities. Okay, so we start with Pella and Plupudeva. We are at war with Tylus. The Odrysian kingdom is over here. Um, okay, we have over here the Pergamon, the Bithynia, Bithynia, I'm, I'm not sure. Sparta is our ally. Athens is our client state. Larissa is owned by Epirus. Apollonia owned by Epirus. Let's go look at the provinces of this area. So, all right, so Macedonia. Okay, so Thracia is up here. We only have one province, uh, one region, settlement, whatever, in this one, and it's there. Macedonia is our city, and the two owned by Epirus. So we definitely want to take over Macedonia first. I think that should be our first order of business in this campaign. So we have a spy here. Let's go in a... So, well, hmm, here's the thing, though. These guys, we're already at war with. I don't really want to mess with them, I don't think, yet. Um, but, let's see, you guys are more than strong enough to... that. Okay, this is a provincial capital, so we're more than strong enough to hold that city. Pella is a fairly decent-sized city, right? Yeah, looks like it. Um, we have, so we have hoplites, we have mob, pikemen, and slingers, so... Not the best units just for defending real quick, although we do have uh, some nice ships. We have a really nice military wharf here. Okay, so let's look at this. Public order is going up, so that is very good. Uh, I'm glad that we don't have to worry about that. We probably won't take many. many. So, okay, so this is what we really need to get is this up because we get Thoreo Spears are like our um, going to be some of our main units. We also have pikemen. Um, yeah, this is going to be really nice. So we have pikemen and spears and hoplites and whatnot. Um, that's going to be like the main part of our army probably. Uh, probably. Um, so the gods of war, what are you guys doing? You have companion cavalry, levy pikemen. Yeah, well, let's uh, first figure out what we want to research. Uh, I mean, you know, we only have two options. I'm going to do this first because it's important to do that, I think. Military is important in the early game, especially. Uh, we have a fleet as well. Okay, the Tridents of Poseidon. I wonder, how many units do they have up there? Hey, Spy Lady, how far can you go? Can you go all the way over here? Wow, you can go pretty far. Okay. We're going to use you to spy on the Tylysians. You can't quite make it to there. Um, I think we're just not going to even recruit anybody this this time around. I don't think. Maybe a couple here. Let's see. What do we have available? Javelin men. Slingers. Nice. So slingers have more range, I believe. Yeah, slingers are good because they have more range. Javelins do more damage. They have less ammunition, though. Yeah, I think, I think slingers are probably better. Our best bet. Uh, and we're gonna get so we don't have any we only have like hoplites which are they're, they're really good Don't get me wrong hoplites are really good, but then we have a lot of pikemen, which is also really good I'm excited to be able to use some pikemen um, Instead of just the, the hoplites. We don't have any melee though We're gonna have to work on that probably a little ways in get some swordsmen because that uh, those are pretty necessary, you know um, We have quite a bit of gold left. I'm, I'm gonna hire some hoplites and some levy pikemen. I think that'll be good. And up here with you. Let's we, we can't even recruit much because the city only has like nothing built. Wow, that's bad. Um for this Balkan culture. Okay. Hmm. So we need Hellenic culture influence. We need food, too, right? We do need some food. We're going to need some food soon. I, I like doing the Shrine of Poseidon. You get food, food, public order, less Hellenic cultural influence than some of these stuff, but you get more uh, wealth from maritime commerce, which is going to be a big thing for us, I think. 
I do think. Um, we're also going to get better ships. We are going to do this, I think, because it, it's faction-wide, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. We should also... We're definitely going to be using ships quite a bit in this campaign, I do think. I, I've never really done a campaign that's used them as heavy, as heavily as I think we are going to use them this time. So, Athena is part of the faction, or the uh, province that has this and this. So, it's just these two provinces in the island of Crete, which makes sense. Rhodes, Ephesus, Pergamon, and Pacinus, which is somewhere in here. We can't see it, can we? Um, so, we'll, we'll take over that eventually. For now, we, like I said before, we just gotta worry about unifying this peninsula. I think that's all we're really gonna do right now. I think so. Alright. It's going to be a challenge for the first little bit. We'll have to see. So my my later goals for this campaign, um, I don't know. I, that, that's the thing. I'm not sure exactly yet. Have your guts emptied at the thought of an attack? Why do you not attack? So, we deserve your sword. You don't like us, but we start off allied. You want us to join war against Epirus. I'll do it. I mean, I don't really want to be friends with Sparta in the long run. I want to take them over, but um, we'll, we'll join. So I'm. It, it's interesting. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with this campaign. I don't really want to move north much. I think I want to like take over the Mediterranean. You know, rebuild the Empire of Alexander the Great. Um, you could say. Um, I want to take over the Lower Balkan area. <laughs> Uh, but it's interesting. I'm not sure. Eventually, I might even figure, I might even, like, consider going to war with Rome. Uh, that'd be interesting. One of my end goals is to control, like, Rome um, in the southern half of Italy. I think that'd be, I think that'd be a good, a good, a good goal to try and conquer all of Rome, uh, or at least resist against them, because I'm sure they're going to want to take over me. Thanks to recruit recent events, you now suggest a target to your allies. I don't know how to do that. Uh, how do I do that? Do I is it talking about Athena, Athens, the city of Athena, whatever? You know what I mean. So no one really likes me right now. Trivali does. Hmm, don't really want to make friends with Trivali. Like eventually, I want to control Thracia, Macedonia, Illyria, uh, and then all of this. Hopefully, we can conquer. Uh, it's gonna. It's all like crammed together in this area, so it'll be interesting seeing how this works out. Hmm. I'm not sure. I am honored to receive this embassy and will listen with interest to all you have. You don't even want to trade with me, which is kind of dumb. Really? You <sighs> That's kind of lame. You're my freaking client state, but you won't Join me in war against my enemies. Uh, whatever you say. Hmm. So we're still making quite a bit of money, which is good. We start off with a decent enough economy. Um, I think I will do this just to get more wealth. Um, we could upgrade this. No, you know what? I think right off the bat, what we should do is just focus on a military. So let's get some more hoplites. Yeah, we'll get some more hoplites. We'll get some more pikemen. We have companion cavalry, which are nice. Okay, so citizen cavalry we could get. Um, but I like the Sarissa Calvary. Get some long spears in there. There we go. That's good. We're going to also recruit some guys here. We're just going to militarize right now. Um, don't have much that we can do with you guys, actually, uh, except recruit more. And that's going to bring our income down quite a bit. Right now, I'm just focusing on militarizing, though. Like I said, not, not much more to say than that. Ah, I forgot to move the spy in closer. You know what? That's fine. I'm not going to be attacking them yet anyways. Hmm. I offer peace as 
Okay. <laughs> okay, do you wish clamber aboard? Someone messed up with the text there. They're gonna pay me 400 to not be at war with them. But frankly, I think we can win, so I'm not actually gonna do that. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. So, yeah. I think that'll be fine. Yeah, I think we're just gonna militarize, um, maybe take my boats, hire some, oh yeah, I should probably hire some fleets. Get some boats going so I can attack from the sea as well, uh, you know, blockade them or whatever. Alright, there we go. So we got our first level military, which is also good. The winter is not too harsh down here. That's good. Very good. We can get this. Enables recruitment of champions, which is important. We get a practice field. I think that's the... Uh, I don't know what that is, actually. Or a workshop, which is going to be for sieges. We don't really need that early game, I don't think. Not nearly as much as later. Um... I think we'll go. That this is the stuff that gives like bonuses to stuff, but it doesn't actually do stuff. This is what we need. That like that in the long run is going to be what we need. So we're going to do that. Um, war declared. Who declared war? Who? Oh, Drishian on the Trabali. Okay, that is perfectly fine. You guys, the better. That's better. Uh, that's better than anything else I could really ask for at this point. Um, we need them to do that. All right, so we have wow, we have quite a few really good ships right now. We don't have any freaking uh, any freaking melee units though. That's a little worrisome. I would think that we would want that. Um, let me get a little comfortable. So, hmm. Hmm, I don't know. Once we take over Apollonia, that's going to be a good spot to make like a trade post, I would say. Uh, a trading port, because that's going to be, you know, a big trade hub with the wine there and stuff. But what about like Athena, Athene? I, I want to be able to recruit strong ships from somewhere. And I think Ath Athena... Athens. I should just call it a Athen uh, Athens, not Athena. Um, Athens would be a good place to build up a good uh, little, a good little thingamabobber, a good little port. So yeah, right now we need to get this up another level, I think, because right now, well, we can. We just don't have the funds. We should wait for that because we really need some assault hex series. We need some people to be. Uh, to actually be um, the ones who can breach the walls. But I think this is going to be our main port as far as recruiting. Um, well, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Basically, I'm trying to say that eventually in the long run, we're going to have to want, we're going to want um, like Athena, probably, uh, Athens. I call it Athena because it's, you know, that's what they call it. But Athens, eventually I'm going to make Athens probably my military port. Um, and convert that and make it so that it's a that has the same thing that I have the dry dock, which gives you the massive ships that are really good for war because it's a more central location in the Mediterranean. We're a little farther up in the Aegean Sea, and so what I'll do here is probably make a trade port. Um, but because uh, this is where our trade is going to originate from, it's our capital. So I think that would help with the trade, get us more money. Plus, it's a little more sheltered. I don't think we need the warships as much because up here, it's in the same sea zone and we could uh, get the same ships and stuff and that would be pretty good, I think. You get all those ships um, built up here and then just send them on expeditions. For now, though, we're going to build this up to a dry dock, I think. Let's go over here. Let me make sure my recording is going okay. It looks like it's going okay, so that's good. How long has it been so far, though? 20 minutes already? Dang. Hmm. How many troops do you have? 12 plus 3 in the water. Hmm. That is quite a bit. I'm not going to lie. Don't like that too much. 12. They won't be able to take my city, I'm pretty sure. We'd be defending. We have walls. We'll be fine if they attack. Over here, though. Over here. Another question altogether. Hmm. 
We could recruit more guys. I think that's not a bad idea. Get a little more cavalry. Another javelin unit. And then... I think that's, that's going to be good for this round. Alright. I think that's good. Hmm. Not, I don't, I'm not going to have any idea what Rome and Carthage are doing for a while because we don't yet know of them or we can't see them actively on the map. So, you know, we'll have to explore eventually, which is always a fun part of this game. I like exploring and then uncovering that these are these massive empires that you wouldn't expect. <laughs> hmm. So, let's see what happens. Alexander, you've been discovered, eh? Hmm. Shrine of Poseidon, we got more food now, which is good. Because we're going to run out. We were going to run out eventually. Um, we don't want to run out in the early game. So uh, so when we put, take Larissa, we'll see what goods they have there. But we'll probably make that into a food-producing place. And then have these two be our main ports and stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll just uh, figure out as we go along what we want to do you know is this a provincial capital up here no it's a minor settlement i wonder what the provincial capital of illyria is probably that one i don't remember what the name of that city is uh i actually know i played rome enough to kind of remember some of these places so oh we don't have the technology okay that's weird i thought we did apparently we don't that's okay so, we won't worry about that then. Uh, instead, we will worry about recruiting. We will recruit more soldiers. We'll recruit more pikemen, I think. And do one more. We have companion cavalry. I don't know how we got those. We just start with them. But um, And do we want any more hoplites? I think the hoplites would be good. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, recruit here as well. Like I said, we're just militarizing right now, so I, we're going to have maybe a little bit of a deficit even if we keep going in the straight, but I think that's okay early on. All right, there we go. So, Pulpa Deva, the armies there aren't going to be the best, but that's okay. Let's see. Okay. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoy this series, because I'm looking forward to it quite a bit. I know there's a bit of an audience for this game. Um, people like watching this stuff, uh, it seems. At least the multiplayer stuff has been pretty well, doing pretty well on my channel. Hopefully this is the same. Okay. Um, no, I don't... Why would I do want that? <laughs> What? <laughs> you want me to pay 100 for a non-aggression pack? I, I think that's actually worth it. Just to not have to deal with that at all. Um, they might die, of course, but... Nice. Alright, here we go. Capture the following settlement, Anthea. We'll get uh, a good bit of stuff. So, we got a mission for that. I think it'd be a good idea to try. Um, also, where the fudge is the... I know I saw one of their armies come here. The warmongers. Hmm. It's quite a formidable army, I gotta admit. Do I think we could take them on? Probably. Especially if we use this army. This army is pretty sick right now. But, I don't know. I don't know if we want to go for that yet. Just yet. We're a little split. We're on two fronts, as you can see. I think... Oh, you know what we could do? We could take some... What's the difference between these? Is there no difference except that... I don't know what the difference is except that these cost more. Light Ballista... I don't know. This could be good. Uh, artillery. It's always fun to get ship artillery. I haven't used much, though. Um, Scorpion Penteres. 
We'll recruit some ships, actually. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to try to take them out by sea. I think it would be pretty fun to do. I don't know if it would be the most uh, efficient move, but we'll try it anyways. We are hung off for battle. And get some more pikemen. Pikemen are good. I like pikemen. All right. There we go. That's all for that turn. Not much, I know, but we're mostly waiting for someone to attack us, I think, at this point. Or until we get an army that's above about 20 units uh, max army strength. Once one of those things happens, we will go and attack on either side. Uh, so soon. Maybe even next turn we'll go and attack. Oh, right, here they come. They're coming for Pupadeva. They're fortifying. They don't even, they're not even trying to attack me yet. Hmm. It's curious. I'll we'll say that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little suspicious. Oh, we got a. We got something. All right, priestess arrived from Bura. The dice. The dice of the oracle have foretold good. Uh, dice. Yeah, dice of the oracle have foretold good fortune for our people. Celebrate. We'll celebrate. Oh, I haven't even looked at this screen. I should probably. So, Antogonid Dynasty is our dynasty. So, we want to, uh, we want to stay in this area. Because if we go over to here, then that's going to make it so that we uh, have some issues. We don't want to get above this mark, I think, because we might have a civil war. Hmm. Yeah. So next general that we get, we might purposely appoint one of the opposite party because that sometimes is good. Um, I don't know if I want to do that this turn. We don't have enough money to really build it. Well, yeah, we do. All right, let's do it. Let's let's see what we can build. I don't really want a workshop yet. I don't really want a practice field yet. I do need this though. Um, every every. Th uh, Every city does at least need like the the basic. Every not every city, but every uh, region at least needs the basic muster field. So definitely need that. Definitely, that's just basics. What do we want to do? Do we want to go out and meet these guys on the field of battle, or do we want to ride down this way? First off, let's see. What's your garrison look like? Wow, we quite a bit. I think we'd be safe to leave this city alone. So let's go take her. Let's go take care of these guys first. We also have these guys recruited, which is pretty nice. We'll go see if we can't siege down uh, their city from the water. Yes, take the war fleet. See if we can't assassinate him. I don't know. Nine percent chance is not too good, you know, but uh, you know, could work. Hey, nice. We recouped the cost of the event. So, all right, we're gonna go on to the next turn. Um, we're our income is plummeting, so as is expected, but that's okay because we're about to conquer some cities now. I at least want to get one battle in here before the end of the video, perhaps. Although it wouldn't be the worst thing to just leave it for the next episode. It'll depend on how long it takes me to prepare for this. Okay. They are attacking me. We have 1,080 troops versus their 900. Okay. We could retreat and, wait and bring in our other army. And I think I'm actually going to do that. See if they... We'll see if they follow us. And they do. Okay. Well, so we have to fight them. Um, I'm not, I wasn't unwilling to do so, but I'm actually going to go ahead and end this episode here. And it leaves a little bit of a cliffhanger for the second episode. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more, guys. This is a start of a new series. The support would really mean a lot to me. If I could get like four or five likes, that would really show me that people are interested in seeing more of this on my channel. Thank you, guys. And until next time, goodbye.